what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing well today i wanted to discuss something that gets under my skin and damn right makes me angry to think that this stuff is still happening today in 2021 so with the rising population in pc gaming a lot of people are buying pcs but the issue most people have is they have no idea how to build a pc or what's good so what's bad the most common thing is to buy a gaming PC on the internet from trusted sellers like Amazon, eBay, you name it. But the issue I have with this is from personal experience is companies outright lying and giving misleading information about what they call a gaming PC. As someone who has taken the time to know what's good and bad, the amount of complete lies I come across is ridiculous. Take Amazon for example, if you type in the words gaming PC in the search bar, 20% are actually gaming PCs that are actually good, that will actually be able to play games. Unless you go through trusted companies, you are going to get scammed. It's that simple. When you're on the site, like Amazon, you have filters to set price and deals. A lot of people don't have a lot of money to throw at gaming PCs, so they'll just put in a simple figure that they think is sensible. So, I set the price at 100 to 300 pounds, acting as someone on a small budget to see what I could get. The PC that screamed to me was the Windows 10 Dell Gaming Ready PC set of 219 pounds and 95 pence. 219 pounds? You have to be joking. You're telling me I can play games like GTA, Minecraft, Far Cry, Cold War, and even stuff like Cy Cyberpunk on this PC? Of course not. But the issue is, to the untrained eye, this will look good. But I have to give the company credit, because the specs actually include a GTX 710, which can run Fortnite Mafia 2, Battlefield 1, COD, Advanced Warfare, and all low settings at 30 frames per second, which is not bad, but could be so much better. PC gaming is about enjoying graphics, exploring open worlds, and being able to escape the reality of what's going through our heads and all of the crap that's in our lives. There is no point in spending 200 plus on a crap PC to realize after they have taken your money how bad it is and scamming you. I think the company should have a lot more respect for their niche market. If I was a kid and I was asking my parents to buy me a PC for, my, for Christmas or my birthday, they won't know anything. They won't know what's good, what's bad. So they just type in simple search terms on Amazon.co.uk saying PC games and it will be 219 quid for instance with the Windows 10 Dell Gaming Re Ready PC. But it's not. It's not a gaming PC. And they're just going to be end up disappointed. And that's what I hate, is that there are people missing out on good quality graphics and on a fast PC because of misleading content from companies. And I don't think that that's fair. My personal opinion and advice I would give to anyone who hasn't got a PC yet and is thinking about buying one. Watch PC channels on YouTube. It isn't difficult. I'll give you a couple if you would like, I'll even link them in the description. Linus Tech Tips, Tech Source, Paul's Hardware, Austin Evans, Bitwit, and there are so many more out there, you just need to find them. It doesn't take five seconds to type in on YouTube what you are trying to buy and see if someone's made a review on it. Because most of the time, people have already seen through companies who are trying to scam their audience. And it's not fair. It really is not fair because companies get away with you giving them £219 and they give you, what, 50 quid's worth of stuff? It's just a waste of your time and I just don't like it. So I'm making this video because I'm passionate about PCs and to see people getting screwed up and screwed over due to not knowing enough, that's not fair. And I feel that the companies should have more respect for the niche market and for people who don't know what the hell they're doing. All of the channels that I've given you show you the new gaming hardware and the good and the bad PC parts. 
So, you're not sitting there looking at an Amazon site going, oh, this looks good, and clicking the buy before you even think about looking at it. Because, to an untrained eye, the brand like Dell is a very trusted developer. And if you actually look in the small print, it will actually say Windows 10 Professional Quad Core Processor 500 gigabyte hard drive, NVIDIA GT710 graphics card. Which sounds like a bunch of numbers and letters to random people. But to people who know what gaming is, know that that's just not good. That's not good enough. My personal opinion is that if you want to get a PC that is good, that can run basic games like Fortnite, all of the most popular games, you are looking at about 500 to 600 pounds or dollars. It's that simple. You are not going to find a good PC under 500, unless you're extremely lucky on eBay or another site. This is just facts. Trusted sites that I would offer as a content creator and a streamer is Cyberpower, where they basically help you find a gaming PC based on what you want to play, whether it's Fortnite, Cold War, you name it. And it will, you select a budget and it will find you matches that have what you need on their website, which is a creative way of making sure you're getting what you want and they know what they're talking about, so they're going to get you the best bang for your buck. Another place is iBuyPower, and there are plenty more. Just do your research. It isn't difficult. A lot of people out there are being scammed day by day because they want to get into gaming PCs and they want to start making content. They want to stream on Twitch. They want to make YouTube videos, but because they're not reading into things and because they're trusting sites that think that a Dell gaming ready PC is fantastic, it's not. It's just a waste of your time and a waste of your money. That way you wouldn't end up with a PC that your nan would be proud to own. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It will be really appreciated so I can look out and see what other content I can create for the channel. If you think that this is helpful and or helps you in the future please make sure to drop a like that would be really appreciated if you have any ideas for what you'd like me to cover next please leave them in the comment section down below i'll be really happy to check them out and think about them but that's basically it from me thank you so much for watching this video and i will see all of you very soon bye bye